What's going on guys, welcome back to another video and today I'm going to be showing you how to make this Dennis Rodman poster. So hopefully you have uh, been enjoying the basketball videos and everything that I'm doing. Um, this is the first uh, poster of this collection that I'm going to show a tutorial on. Uh, it doesn't take too long to make, a few simple edits and that's about it really, so let's get straight into it. Okay guys, so the first thing we're going to need to do is create a new background, so new document, 1080 by 1350, and that's about it. So we click OK, we've got our background. So the first thing you need to do is go to your textures and get the images that I've given you. So go to your textures panel down below, and then get texture 1 and texture 9, drag and drop, pretty much we know how to do it. So do that, and then you can obviously position them where you want, so get them center, that looks about right to me. So you can have them overlapping, it doesn't really matter too much, as long as they're positioned in the center of the design, that looks really good to me. What we're gonna need to do now is get the images, so we're gonna go to get this Dennis Rodman image, and we're gonna drag and drop him in. So drag and drop him, get him center in the design, obviously you can align him with the background, so something like that, that looks good to me, there we go. So he's centered in the background. Now we've got a few more images that we need to link to him. So uh, we can turn him off for now. Get your ellipse tool, get a stroke, probably about a two, two stroke. Also you can just type that in and get rid of the fill. And now we're just gonna draw a big circle in the middle. There we go. Right, so we've got that. Command J, Command T. Now we've duplicated it, make one up there. And then Command J, Command T, duplicate it down there. So there we go. Now, they all look pretty good to me. Uh, obviously you can uh, position them a bit better if you would like. Something like that, that looks good. So now they're all positioned pretty much accurately. So, Command T, let's put them in the middle of the design like so. There we go. Now they can go behind Dennis. So we're going to put him above them. Then we're just going to group all these together, call them circles. There we go. So, those are our circles done. Now we're gonna, we can lock that now, we don't need to worry about that anymore. So the next thing we're going to do is get some more images. So, we're going to get our NBA logo and the two pictures of Chicago I've got. And drag and drop them in. So hold shift, get them all, drag and drop. There we go. They're all in. Now get your NBA logo, position no, oh, I don't need it that big actually. Get it down here, position it somewhere around here by his foot. And then we're gonna leave that there for now. Now we're just gonna position this Chicago image and the other Chicago image by his uh, by the side of him. So you can obviously just do that. And then what we're gonna do is just put them both below him. So there we go. Now it looks like he's actually got the city coming out of him, which looks pretty cool. Um, so a bit like that, yeah. That looks good. Now you can obviously make it a bit bigger if you'd like. It's completely personal preference. Uh, but yeah, that looks pretty good to me. So we've got the images in. We've got the color, the, the uh, city in. We've got the little logo here in. So we've got pretty much most of it in already. So now we're going to add some text in. So we're going to add Rodman along here. So like that. Don't need to make it too big. Just about that big that's fine um like that and this is going to be in a, a potec comp font so i'll leave this in the description below and now we're just going to drag and drop four of these like so there we go we've got four and we're just going to select them all command t move them over a little bit maybe move them up a little bit too and then we're just going to select the middle one and top one so if we get that one and then that one and now we're just going to take off the fill of them and we're just going to add a stroke like that. So we want to make the stroke black and we want to reduce it to two, two fill, like so. And same is going to happen for this one as well. So get a stroke, two fill, there we go. All done. Simple as. Don't really need to worry about that. So we've got that done. Now we're just going to get our type tool again. Get 91. Now this is going to be made a lot bigger than the uh, other text. Something like that. Obviously you can make it a little bit smaller, but something big like that, that's good. And then we're just going to get a texture and we're going to link this to it. So go to your textures, get your particles, drag and drop, and we're just going to highlight them over the top of there. Clip and mask it to the 91, and then group those together. So that's 91. And then we're going to group the Rodmans together. Rodman, left, because they're on the left. That's all done. So as you can see, it's really coming together. So get your type tool again, Dennis, like so. And then we're just going to zoom in and we're going to position this around here and now we can uh, just quickly drop that down there we go and now we're gonna write Rodman so now his names along the bottom which looks really nice evenly split there we go now there's only a few more things to do guys we just need to add some shapes around his legs so we're gonna get our ellipse tool for this one we're just gonna 
draw an ellipse. Now you can make the uh, thickness a bit bigger, so make it about 10, that's good. Uh, and then you're gonna just position it so that it looks like it's going around his leg. So something like this looks good. And then we're gonna duplicate it, Command T. We're just gonna move it down a little bit. So we're gonna make it look like he's a, it's 3D. And we're gonna move it below. And we're gonna change the color of it as well. So if you go to a color, get a, probably a dark gray. That'll look good. There we go. So that's moved below. And we're just gonna move this one probably just above it like so. So you can zoom in as well to make this easier for you guys. So like that, that looks really nice. And then we're gonna group these together, call them circles. And then what we're gonna do is layer mask this circle out. So get your brush tool. And now you're just gonna make sure that you've got a good brush, obviously. And then you're just gonna make sure it's layered masked out by his legs. So you can increase the flow for this. Make sure that it's very uh, accurate on the edge. So probably using a hard brush would be a lot easier for you. So like that, like that. There we go. Now that's really good. Now it looks like it's underneath his leg. So after doing that, what we're going to do is go get a, not that, we're going to go to our textures and we're going to go get another texture. So let's go down, get this texture here. Click OK, drag and drop. So now I'm going to clip and mask it to it. Screen, fill 58%. Perfect. So we're going to do the same again here, but we're going to use the uh, pen tool for this one. So we're just going to click, 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 and then click, and then click. Now you actually make sure it's a sharp edge, otherwise it just won't look right. And then we're going to increase the fill to about 10 again. So we get a 10. There we go. So you can make this obviously smaller if you want by doing like something like that. There we go. That's perfect. Make it off angled. And uh, then we're going to duplicate this. Same again and put it below and we're just going to get the same gray as we had uh, for this one so there we go that's going to be this one now we go to our pen tool get the fill click that gray not not the fill sorry idiot <laughs> uh, take off the fill add it to the stroke there we go so now we got it on the stroke and there we go so same again group them together rectangle and then we're going to add a layer mask and we're just going to layer mask it out the front of his leg this time and we can obviously make it a nice clean cut otherwise it won't look realistic there we go there we go that looks good now it looks like it's overlapping his leg and then we're just going to add this same texture over the top of this one as well so clip and mask it to it and there we go guys now we just need to add in one more thing which is going to be done by making rectangles so if I get my rectangle tool, make a really thin rectangle like so, and then we're going to make another one there, and we're going to make another one up here, like so, in the middle of this. Now we're going to get our alt tool and do the same again. There we go. So we've got a nice little target logo now. There we go. Nice. Now, we can make this rotated and smaller at the same time. That was good. Now we're just going to get that, duplicate it three times, well two times, Command T, drag it down, like so, then Command T, drag it down again, there we go. That's really nice, doesn't it? Uh, now we're just going to group this and call it one big target. Now I've named it, I'm going to duplicate that, Command T, I'm just going to move it up here, bring it along the side here, make it a little bit bigger as well, and now I'm going to duplicate this one and bring it down here. There we go. Make this one down here and make this one a bit smaller. There we go. By his foot. Perfect. So, as you can see, guys, we've pretty much created the poster design. Uh, I'm just going to obviously do a camera or filter like I always would. Um, but yeah, that, that's pretty much it, guys. So, Command Shift Option E, get your poster screenshot, go to Filter, Camera or Filter. And then what we're going to do is just play around with some of the colors a bit exposure contrast you don't really need to make it any blue highlights shadows don't need to make too much shadows either because it's already quite a dark image but make sure you do increase the blacks uh, bring out the texture and the clarity dehaze it a little bit vibrance you can bring down a little bit saturation you can probably increase because you want the pop of the red um, curves make a small s curve like that detail sharpen it again there we go looks really crisp now and nice um, and yeah, color mixer you don't need to do anything really with unless you want to change the color of the red, but I wouldn't see why you want to, because it doesn't need it. 
and then grain effect. And that's pretty much it guys. So if I do a comparison by side to side, looks really good and clean, really crisp, a lot better than before. Um, and yeah, this is just how you make a simple uh, minimalistic poster design. Very simple, just layering shapes up and text and then adding simple imagery in to, uh, to the design. So if I click OK on that, there we go guys. There is the poster design for today. I hope you've enjoyed the video, um, uh, it's pretty fun to make. Um, and yeah, follow the Instagram, follow all the social medias we got in the description below. Um, and yeah, thank you for watching guys, and I'll see you in the next video.